Hi, and welcome to another Minecraft series. Now, I really like the idea of the questbook uh, mod packs. So, I thought that I should play one. And uh, for today, I thought, I, not thought, well I thought uh, too, but I chose uh, a mod pack called Void World. So let's create a new world. Void World 1.6 1.1.6 is the version I'm on, I think. Yeah, it is. However, well, let's just create this uh, Void World 16. A new world. And then Minecraft crashes. Oh, it didn't. That would be funny. I'm also, as you can <laughs> clearly see, I'm on still on uh, Swax uh, PDCraft. At first I really wanted that to... Well, for every different modpack or quest mod or whatever, I wanted to use a different uh, resource pack. But I can't do that for for Wide World, it seems, because I don't know any Wide World resource packs, sadly. I haven't uh, seen any. Now, one thing I should really do first is the UI. Let's put it to normal. Make sure command blocks are enabled. I think they are. The map will turn on automatically HQM books. Turn on the HQM books automatically. Make sure to have an HQM book in your inventory. Press the button to start. I think I have one. Quest book. Yeah, I have. Okay. Let's take uh, two additional ones and put them in a chest or something. If I'm sure there are chests in here. Oh, there are a lot of items here. HQM book. Only take one. Sorry. I'll still take uh, extras. Please let me. Place the button under the metal sign to start the map. Alright. I have a book. Click to show quests. The beginning. Mushroom bowl. I can make mushrooms too, I think. How did it go again? Like this. Good. Let's make the UI bigger. <laughs> that way I can act. That way I can actually hit things correctly. Okay. Whatever that was. Shelter. It seems I lost all of my things during the strikes. I'll have to scavenge what I can fi what I can from the shelter if I'm to survive much longer. Oh, there's no do not break anything. In your shelter other than copperstone from the generators, the chests and the transmutation tables. Doing so may break the redstone to running this map and make it impossible to progress. Breaking the shelters, the ones made of factory block, wireframe in a shade of purple, may break the NPCs which would also make it impossible to progress. Otherwise anything may be broken or replaced as you see fit. 
The task where the player needs the specific items, these do not have to be handed in, I think them in one's inventory is enough. So I need a Philosopher's Stone, a stick. Oh no, I used the mushrooms already. Oops. I found the pick. I have the Philosopher's Stone. And I have a stick. And I don't have these three. Because I... bugged the game out, so I think I have to restart. Jeez. That is a great start. Let's delete it. Right on camera. And let's make a new Void World 16. So now it will take some more time. Sorry about that. And I won't edit it out either. I'm sorry. Won't happen again. Now I will check quests before I use the materials which I cannot get back. Hopefully. Let's take this. And let's begin. Now I won't make them to stew right away. <laughs> really sorry about that before. From before. Okay. Uh, let's put the, these quest books away. Oh, now it has all these different uh, things. Yay! Reward bag. What will I get from it? 13 hard class. At least some EMC rewards. 3.37% chance to get this reward. Alright. Next up is... HQM Introduction. Here you will learn the basics of the H hardcore questing mob and how items and blocks function. Please note that crafting tasks will not uh, recognize auto-crafting. You must craft them yourself. The task where the player can hand in items or fluids. One can also... We use the quest delivery system to submit items and fluids. Cobblestone, 10 cobblestone. And Project D. Now we have to learn the basics of the mod Project D which made uh, this map possible. Basically this is a remake of the old and famous e Equivalent Exchange 2. Submit a piece of cobblestone and then select claim reward. Note that sometimes quests will requ require you to choose a reward before you can complete it. Okay. Oh, I fell in. I have eleven cobblestone. Do I have enough? Yeah. Manual submit, claim reward. Welcome and rules and project D guide. Synthetic soup. You should uh, teach the transmutation table each item as you acquire it. Just in case you lose it or need more later. Once you have taught it everything you currently have, you should be able to make as much mushroom stew as you want. Yay!
I have teached it these three things, I think. Yep, I have. Let's teach it the uh, sticks. Mm-hmm. Now let's uh, finally make a mushroom stew. And let's teach it this uh, as well. Nice. Seventy cobblestone. Well, I can at least bring this in. Good. A task where the player has to craft specific items. Stone pickaxe. Oops. Okay. Why isn't it making cobblestone anymore? No idea. Oh god, but I can't make it. I can't make a stone pickaxe. At least there's another generator there. Did I break something there? Yeah, I did. Alright. That's fixed now. But the problem is... Stone pickaxes with two sticks. I made three. Oh, it's four. Let's put this... No, I didn't want to put them all in. Oh, God. Well, at least... At least it's learned, so I won't, didn't lose it. No creative or cheating allowed. You can use everything what you can find on this map, except things for, from the spawning room. Not being annoying and message me for little grammar mistakes. Alright. Let's put this away for now. And that's... oops. And let's continue with this one. I can now finally craft a cobblestone pickaxe. Or a stone pickaxe. Claim rewards. Quest delivery system and the hopper. I can put the quest delivery system down somewhere. And then I can use the hopper to... Basically power it. 70 cobblestone, I have 20.
And I broke it again. Huh. Oh god, I keep breaking things. I wonder why the stone pickaxe doesn't work. <laughs> I keep breaking everything. I need 70 cobblestone for the quest. I have more than 70 now. Good. Seventy couple stone done. I have a mushroom still, don't I? I do. Does it want me to make another one? Or can I uh, put it here? And then... Or does it need more than one? Yup, it needs two. Okay. I need 70 to make one. Okay. Done. At least some EMC rewards. 3.37% chance to get a slime ball. And I got three slime balls. Yay! Alright. Next. Start the map? Not yet. The quest delivery system introduction. The quest delivery system one way to automate. Is one way to automate things like consume quests. And uh, maybe essential for liquids. Versions of such. Simply attach a pipe, hopper or some other form of item or liquid transfer to the QTS. And use the select task, then right click on the QTS with the quest book option to designate which quest you want to submit to. The task where the player can hand in items or fluids, this is a normal consume task where manual submit has been disabled to teach the player about the QTS warning. The QTS will eat items and liquids even if the quest is complete or no quest is assigned. Be careful what you pump into it. Okay, let's put it down somewhere. Old portal, you will need to charge it to open it. Place energy cell with output to the right. Place energy cell with output to the left. Right, let's put it here. Let's select the task. Good. And now I have to put the hopper on top of it and uh, put this into the hopper. The hopper isn't connected. Now it is. Let's throw it in. 
Chan. Nice. And we got five furnaces. Nice. Okay. Lives. Okay. 